I got the Prime Radicals in the building, and I'm so excited. How are you doing today? Just great, June. Thanks for having us back. Boom. You mean, oh, that's right, that's right. because we filmed one of the episodes for, at CKCU for the Prime Radicals. We did, and this is our second time that the Prime Radicals has come to visit June, so we're delighted to be back. Boom. And... Uh, what do you do at uh, for the Prime Radicals? And tell everybody your name. Well, I'm Hoda Elatawi, uh-huh. and I work with G- GAPC Entertainment here in Ottawa, and I'm the producer for a children's series called The Prime Radicals on TVO Kids. And um, as you'd mentioned earlier in the show, um, it's season two of The Prime Radicals. We're really happy after three long years, or I guess two and a half years, we'd finished season one. It took us that long to raise the financing for season two, so we're thrilled to have had it launch on uh, TVO Kids last week, September 5th at 6.30. So just uh, let me tell you the air date, 6.30 on Thursdays on TVO Kids, and uh, they repeat on Sundays at 12.30. Okay, so you know, The Prime Radicals, is not only a great Canadian show, but what I love about it, because everybody seems to think that, oh, Ottawa's boring, nothing happens here, film doesn't happen here, music videos doesn't happen here, but the whole series for Prime Radical Season 2 was filmed here in Ottawa. It's all Ottawa. It's fantastic. Like a shout out to our crews and our writers and our editors. Um, It's really gratifying to be able to put together a fantastic show that's won a number of international awards and we've done it right out of Ottawa and you're quite right. A lot of people don't realize it. Yes, there's a lot of things that do take place here in Ottawa. So let's say if I was a teenager or a little child and I wanted to get onto TVO Kids doing uh, a show like The Prime Radicals, how could I do that? Well, I mean, one way, I guess, is they could reach out to companies like us, GAPC Entertainment, and uh, basically they can come out and audition. We're always in the process of developing new concepts. We have a particular love for uh, children's content. Um, So, you know, our doors are open for young people who um, feel that they want to be in front of the camera and have larger-than-life personalities. We want to see them. Um, We also do documentaries. So all kinds of ideas float in through our door, and the doors are open for people to come and talk to us about what they're vision or their creative concept is and we're always happy to listen boom what is is there a website that people can go to for more information um absolutely i'm going to give you a couple of websites there's uh the gpc entertainment website which is the division of the company that produces and uh, develops tv shows and that's www.gapcentertainment.com and then of course there's a website for the prime radicals which is uh prime radicals.com and um it has games and activities and resources for parents and teachers so it's got something for everyone and uh really is a great companion to the prime radicals the series which as you know is a show about math for six to eight-year-olds, yes. which, I mean, who'd have thunk it? Like three years ago, when someone approached me to do a show about math for kids, I was like, are you kidding? How do you make math fun on How TV? How do you make math fun? <laughs> well, let me tell you, we have a great cast. We have a wacky Uncle Norm and his niece and nephew, um, Kevin and Alana. Uncle Norm has a workshop. He hangs out there, and nobody really knows what he does. He's kind of an inventor, maybe a secret agent. And the kids uh, hang out there after school, and they usually uh, come across a problem that Uncle Norm can't solve. Ooh. So they'll go out into the real world and they'll meet people like you yes. um, that tell us how math is part of their world. So the great thing about the series is it really gives kids uh, real world examples and situations of how math is all around us. Yes, and how we use it every day. I didn't even realize that. So uh, CKCU got featured on there and I got uh, to, to do a segment on there and I was looking at the schedule. I don't see when the episode for CKCU is coming on, but I saw all the other ones. You guys are so efficient. You guys are so ahead. I saw October 17th. I was like, oh my goodness. Well, That's I- amazing. So when you guys came here to see KC, what, we, what was the episode about? Well, the episode was about time and managing time and having children understand how time breaks up, say within a half hour increment or a one hour increment, what 10, 10 minutes means, 15 minutes minutes mean and why you were such a great expert for us to talk to is when you do a radio show you have an hour that you have to break up into little time increments and by walking us through your daily schedule one it helps kids understand the math concept but it also shows them how again math is around them and they're doing it all the time and they're good at it 
boom. And without even realizing, because I didn't even realize that I was doing math by doing that, because I got to now subtract from the hours and figure out how am I going to make everything work and not go over my time. So I learned something new. And you guys are really efficient and crazy, crazy fast when taping on set. Well, we have to be because we have a lot to cram with a fairly modest budget. And uh, so we managed to get everything in just under the wire. Um, I think we got a really good segment with you. And we'll let you know when it airs, uh, June. Don't Boom. worry. You'll know. But I can't wait. You know, you raised a really good point about how you didn't realize that you're using math. And that's really the thing that we want kids to know. We want to empower them with the idea that they're doing math without realizing it and they're good at it because Math is having trouble in the country and in, in, in Ontario, and kids are having trouble with math at a younger and younger age. Don't feel they're good enough at it. Uh, it's it's hard. too hard. It's and hard. It is hard. But <laughs> if we can help provide them with another lens that, you know, they're already doing it. Yes. Maybe we can help do our little bit. I like it. And Prime Radicals is actually, it's really fun. Uh, you guys went to a few other places in Ottawa. You guys went to... Um, I saw you guys went to... Uh, we went to a sugar nutty, bush. The Nutty Greek. You guys and the Nutty the, Greek the Bakery, nutty Greek. which was fantastic. We went to 26 fantastic Ottawa locations for the oh 26 episodes, where every person that we spoke to had a different kind of job, whether it was a bakery or someone who worked at a sugar bush or someone like yourself. And in, in those ways, we were able to illustrate how math is part of really everything that we do and then the kids take it back to Uncle Norm at the workshop they solve Uncle Norm's problem we have a great song at the end of every episode that uh, combines the content that was learned throughout the episode there's an art and craft section um, so it's really uh, a very eclectic there's lots going on in each episode they're short so I think they hold the attention span of our young audience and it's done really well teachers love it parents love it they like to watch it with their kids because le- they learn things that they didn't that they'd either forgotten or didn't know so. Right. It's really true. And you guys got some new singers, I see, for the songs. We did. In season one, we had one singer, Ida Khan. This uh, season, we decided to um, audition and we cast five singers, which we sprinkled through the um, 26th episode. And our singers range from 18 or 19, rather, to our youngest, who's 10 years old. And it's a mix. Uh, I'm really happy we've got... Uh, you know, a diverse mix of uh, both, you know, gender wise and uh, background wise. So, you know, we really like to, uh, I guess, try and represent as best we can sort of our, our Canadian multicultural <laughs> landscape. And so Boom. I think we've done that. Yes. And you guys are doing a fantastic job. So if people would like to see the Prime Radicals on TV, okay. It's, oh, I have my last question. Yes. How did uh, the Prime Radicals come to be? Well, um, a good question. A few years ago, um, a gentleman that I knew out of Kingston uh, approached me and said, there's a really great uh, article or column in uh, the Kingston newspaper. It's written by a PhD mathematician who works out of uh, um, Queen's University, Dr. Linda Colgan. I looked at the articles. I decided to have a meeting with uh, Linda. And it was it wasn't until I met her in person that I realized with the passion with which she spoke about math, how much fun it could be. And so basically from there we began brainstorming. But it was really her excitement. She made me look at math in a different way that I'd never looked at. And I thought, wow, we could really have fun with this. So that's kind of how it started. I love it. And now you're going into your second season. That's right. You've won lots of awards. Lots of awards. We're real happy. It actually won two awards before it started airing, which is which is a bit of an anomaly. How that does we're that happen? <laughs> How do you get an award before you air? How, uh, well, it was one of those um, festivals that we entered where uh, the criteria allowed us to be eligible, uh, despite the fact that the show hadn't aired. So we were really lucky, and our broadcaster was quite delighted, I might add. So, yeah, we're pretty thrilled. That's amazing. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. It, it's at 630 on Thursdays. On Thursdays. And on TVO Kids. Yes. And uh, then you have the repeat on Sundays. At 12.30. At 12.30. And if people are interested in um, even more content, we've got a Facebook page, a Prime Radicals Facebook page, a YouTube channel. We've got Twitter. Um, we've got the website. And we're going to have two new apps coming up in the winter um, that are going to be super fun for kids to play. Boom. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about the Prime Radicals. I can't wait to see the episode at CKCU. We'll keep you posted, Jen. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. OMG.